Okay. Why not? Do I need three for this and not one? I think it said one. Uh, crap. Crap! So this is actually taken. It's not a... Uh, okay. No. Oh. Luck it is. Oh, I could have just. Oh, god. But I do need some coordination. Get a few action points. <clears throat> Mystery item crafted with dog shit. Oh no, that's actually... What the fuck is the point of it? Okay, so it's not crafting the... Um... Actually, heavy machine gun has more damage because it probably shoots automatically. Automatic weapon. Okay. 
Do I have a carrying weight? I do not think I do. So basically it shows that this is equipped, this is not, so then I will get plus three. Or... Okay, that is, I will not get plus three inches, okay. Come talk to me when you've got a moment. I want to discuss staffing and recruiting. Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk... Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to... And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez. Electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for... The Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Of course. Ask away. Uh. <laughs> well, Sergey won't blow his own horn, so I'll do it for him. He's Colorado's greatest war hero. Fought by the Patriarch's side for... 75. Tops. Now, let me tell you about Mr. Slick here. Nobody knows the streets and alleys. You're too kind, Sergey. Yeah, I was getting a little itchy doing the same old, same old. And retirement was driving me stir crazy. Just sitting around listening to the paint peel. I jumped at the chance to help you folks out. It's no lie that I've been looking to leave the marshals, but you're right. That's not the whole story. The Patriarch... And I am truly sick of retirement. But, yeah. Let's say... Liaisons. The Patriarch wants you to succeed. And he knows it's not gonna be easy. You don't know the politics. You don't know the personalities. That's where we come in. We're here to make sure you don't make too many rookie mistakes. And yeah. We're supposed to report back to the Patriarch about how you're doing. But you didn't really expect to be left completely to your own devices, did you? Not sure exactly. We came by a week... We were gonna get the place cleaned up before you got here. But then the Dorseys attacked the city, so it got put on the... Something must have triggered the security systems between then and now. Could have been anything. Patriarch chased out the last big gang maybe... 10 years back? Before that, all kinds... Recently, it's been mostly outlaws and refugees. Could be what set off the alarms. Around these parts, we call the nuclear apocalypse the deluge of fire, because... Noah's flood was the deluge of water. The nukes were the deluge of fire. Gonzalez? He's a whiz with stuff like that. The AI will allow you to give the vehicle orders in combat without having to be incited. Basically, it'll become another member of your squad. Okay, what's next? My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So, and you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up.
Hell yeah. Can I just fill up the the whole team? What the hell? We can handle this, right?
É ok. Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need, but if you meet any talented people in your travels, now that we've got that sorted, let's talk. Now you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do. But getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Perfect. That'll give you a chance. After that, you might want to give Sheriff Daisy a hand. If you impress her. Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Uh, well, forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Great. Lead the way. Oh crap. <laughs> so I have another automatic weapon guy. Okay. Stink. Somebody's been using this med bay for a morgue. Gonna take an ocean bleach to get it ready for customers.
Look at all this machinery. If we can get it all running, this will be a good spot for your armory. Might have just as well <clears throat> ran into it. Well, you, you know, Tomcat. Picking two there. I really have no one. No, I have Bookie. I should not so they do not add up to each other I can use them as a team but her plus one does not add to her plus two so I could have just not have taken I will have the um Retalenting later. Trophy hall, museum, or something, or a handball court. Please, don't. 
Don't you? Who? Who are you? You're not dressed. I'm Del Hackett, and I. Well, I, I speak for these people. Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed every... Not in... The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago. So we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks, and we never set anything off before. Your call. Won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge. You said... yes. Uh, well, we won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever... Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing. Andy. Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. up and run in pronto. Hey dudes, hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you with rangers, huh? Cool, man. Cool. I, uh, like your look. I think I had a shirt like that once a long time ago. That's cool. Helping's good. I like helping. Uh, are there, like, more of you here? Oh, so not many then, huh? Don't worry. You'll make new friends, I bet, though. <laughs> You, uh, oh, yeah, man, of course. I know my name? Uh, yeah, uh, something like that. Honestly, I don't even remember. It's been a long time since I thought about that, man. I, I kind of been here for a while. Couldn't tell you, man. Like, there's no windows or clocks in here. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people. You know, man, I, uh, I got a little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there, drip some wall, and, uh, you know what they say about dark, so I added a little self, uh, self-made fertilizer. Those, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, and, uh, bugs. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers. That was a good, but yeah, mainly mushrooms. Because, uh, this, <laughs> yeah, sure, uh, Maybe sometimes kind of kind of hard to keep track of how long it is. But uh, let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Oh man! So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here, all nerdy. Yeah. Then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine, and he falls down. And then all these. Then after a while, the alarm stopped. And then. Uh, well, she was, uh, anyway, she came in here looking sad. We talked, um, for a bit, and then she left again. Hope she didn't die, and she's haunting me for some reason. Though, now that I think about it, I guess I'd be glad for... Oh, a real nice lady, man. Had a big old... Sm I think she said she was a traitor. Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and said I wasn't uh, a suitable client. Well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to, uh, to say it. You know, man, it's, um, I've been here a long time and there was, and there was, um, there was a gentleman 
bear, the lip licker. But, uh, yeah, hard to remember who came in first and, uh, which ones were just, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, cool. Oh, man, didn't you look? Okay, okay, like, well, so a guy I used to be friends with. Friend, though, too, man. My former friend who decided he didn't, uh, and when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. Oh, man, yes. Um, you're calling this one, Rangers, but really, I'd, I'd uh, I'd really, really, really like to get out of here. Re really? Oh, man, yeah, man, you're just the tops, the beanies. I owe you big time. Thanks, man. Thanks so much. What's, uh, what can I do for you? Wow, those, uh, those alarms were going off? How'd that happen? Oh, I didn't, uh... So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here. Yeah. Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, um... Uh, well, you came in. Um, well, that guy, uh, or... Oh! Oh, shit, man. Do you think someone snuck in here while I was sleeping and fiddled with those buttons? Oh, yum. Mushrooms are the best. Who knew they were poisonous ones? <laughs> Later, dudes, and, uh... Oh, hey, hi again. What's, uh... What can I do for you? Yeah, man, you know it. I mean... We talked about it and all. Later, dudes, and, uh... Oh, hey, hi again. What's, uh... Later, dudes, and, uh... Don't forget to think about getting this door open. Oh, hey, hi again. Okay, What's, what the fuck? Uh, what can I do for you? I told you I thought he was my friend, you know? But, uh... Yeah, man, you know it. I mean... We talked about it and all. Later, dudes, and, uh, don't forget to think about getting this door open if you get a chance. Oh, yay! Thank, uh, thank you so much, man. I owe you big, uh, real big time. This won't be the last time you hear from me. Obviously, that may not have been a smart thing to do, but... Really?
How do I kill a uh, kill a uh, heal? Major Tomcat. That was not good. <clears throat> Systems active. Breeding. I need to rest a spell. 
catch my breath. Later. Systems act, systems act, systems act, systems act. Strangers. Rangers, I know your primary. Now, what can I help you with? Well, I've got friends in the marshals. Now, some of these folks may be uh, less than top grade for sure, but most will be solid recruits. Re Happy to tell you what you need to. Well, came here with my folks when I was a kid and was a young. I've served at his side ever since, fighting against the monster army, consolidating. What Mr. Gradsky means is that he played a key role in many of the Patriarch's greatest victories. You're too kind, Darius. Well, the fighting's never really ended. Trying to hold it all together is a constant struggle. <laughs> I do indeed. Some folks can't get past his brusque ways, but that's just the impatience of a man who... Of course, you'll hear a lot of folk condemning him for hurting this group or that group with his decisions. But the way I see it, they should be glad it wasn't them who had to make the choice. Stories? <laughs> Ah, they are stories indeed these days. Ah, here's one. So, one day we were hunting monster army raiders and came upon a tin-walled shack. The people inside were shooting at us, but Saul, he holds up a finger, then creeps around behind the compound. Well, pretty soon, a few moments later, he comes striding out, carrying a child under each arm. They've been shooting at us because they thought we were coming to eat their dying pa Now, I will never know how Saul knew it was kids in there rather than raiders, but somehow he did. And we brought them and their folks back to the city and helped them out until they got well again. An uncanny ability to always do the right thing. Give me a while and I'll see if I can remember any more. In the meantime, I'll be here. Systems act, systems act, systems, systems active. Greetings, Rangers.